Hey, hello guys. This is Karthik from executeautomation.com. This is part six of our Coded UI video series. So in this part, we are going to discuss about assertions in Coded UI test builders. So how to add assertions for a particular control of your application using Coded UI test builders. And also we will discuss about different kinds of assertions that you can perform for a particular control. So assertions in Coded UI. So using assertions, we can compare for a controls property for its are equal, whether it's are not equal, whether it contains, does not contains, ends with, is not null, is null, matches, starts with. So these are the different kinds of comparator methods which is available in Coded UI Test Builder, which performs the comparison of your object's property. And this will be very, very helpful to assert your element whether the particular properties object exist in the applications or not. All right, let's not waste our time. Let's jump to Visual Studio. All right, this is the same project which we discussed in our last video. So I'm going to my Core UI test. All right, and then I'm going to assert whether once we perform this operation 89 plus 23 whether I'm getting 112 as a result. So this is a great assertion, right? We can always check whether the addition operation is, work, is working fine or not. So I'm going to right click, go to generate Coda UI for Coda UI test, and I'm going to hit use Coda UI test builder. All right, so the application is there. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to use this crosshair and I'm going to point to this particular 112, which is the result text box. All right, you can see the name of this text box is result, and it's a display text is 112. So right now, this is what we're expecting. I want to assert whether the result is 112 or not. So there is an option called add assert. So this option performs the assertion operation in Coda UI. So right now, if I hit this, you can see there is one more dialog box automatically pops up for the display text. So whichever control you point, and if you hit this add assertion, it will change the assertion for the particular control property. So right now, I'm hitting display text, and if I hit add assertion, it changes to display text. That's great. All right, and then, my comparator operator is or equal. So I'm going to verify whether the value is equal to 112 for this particular operation, 89 plus 23. Great. If this does not bring up this message for me, then my assertion failure message will be the value should be 112 or 112. Yes. It's addition is not working properly. Great, so this is my message. If this thing fails, then I'm gonna set this message into my output window of this test explorer. So I'm gonna hit okay there. So it says this assertion has been added. So again, we have to generate the code. Since whatever changes that you made in the Core Device Test Builder, you need to generate the code. An assert method is going to be an altogether a different method. That's why it's coming or generating a different method. So I'm going to say assert add. All right. And I'm going to say asserting my addition operation. Great. Just hit add and generate. So this will generate the code for me. I'm going to close this Coda Device Test Builder. This takes me back to the Visual Studio. And you can see there is a new method being added, assert add. All right, if I just right click and go to definition, you can see there's a summary. Just added the summary which we, are, which we added there. And it has a new control called item 112 text. So what is this? Just right click and go to definition. So you can see that it has the 
identification property for win text so this is a win text control the result is a win text control so it has added the search property for the win text and the properties we are going to identify is for name so the result is the name of the control as we saw in the crosshair great so if I press control minus it will take back me to the same place and what we're trying to do here is we are going to assert for r equals of this is the UI map so there is a assert add expected values so what is this assert add expected values so if you go back here as you can see here there is a property called assert add expected value so of course this is going to be once again a class so if I go to definition here see this is a class and here it has public string UI item 112 text display text is equal to 112 so this is the label of 112 so code UI is generating a lot of code for us right it's really great technology but of course it's an annoying technology as well so where is how do I keep track of all these cores my god it's pretty hard okay so if I can press control minus it will take back me to this assert add expected values property so here so within this particular property I have this particular display text so if I click this it will go back to this particular 112 great so I'm verifying whether this text is equal to the display text display text is nothing but the property available for this particular control so if you hit a dot here you can see there are a lot of properties oops a lot of properties like control ID container control type display text name etc so these are the properties which we saw in the quarter UI test filters crosshair properties window great so we can just verify the display text of the text box and if it doesn't match us then it will throw me an error saying the value should be 112 years and instant operation is not working that's great so why don't we just try to run this stuff so I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna text explorer and I'm gonna build it once again since the code has changed great so I'm going to run this selected test so this should perform the addition operation and also it should assert for the text all right so it seems like it has asserted and it's working fine so now since everything is as expected it's working fine so why don't we a little bit change the code and instead of 112 if we change to 113 in the display text property right here and if you run this test what will be the actual result for from the test explorer so let's go back and change this 112 to 115 or something right I'm gonna just save this and right now I'm just gonna run this test once again and we'll see what is the actual result 89 plus 123 is 112 but we have changed it to 115 and now the Visual Studio is throwing as an error so this is what is expected it says message as a dot r equal fails expected is 115 since we have changed the value there and the actual is the value which is coming from the application's UI which is 112 so the value should be 112 else the addition is not working properly so we have changed in the code itself so we should be doing it another way around but since the code change is very easy for me I just I change I just change this way so there is an output here so if I hit this output it's also taking us a screenshot which is great so if I click the screenshot it's taking me a screenshot for the control as well so after the equal operation we're getting this error right just close this so we can use this later point of time so I mean close it right here so this is how the assertion operation is working for us so we can also do a different kinds of assertion operations like contains or equal or not equals etc using assertion operations so that's all guys so these are the assertion operations using Coder UI test builder in Coder UI test so we can actually do a lot of hand coding in upcoming videos of this video series 
so that this assertion operation will also be come as a handy option. Okay guys, thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.